So here we are in, in 2017, and this is the 75th anniversary of the signing of Executive Order 9066, which unconstitutionally authorized the internment of over 120,000 people of Japanese descent uh, during World War II. I was commissioned by the Zellerbach Family Foundation to compose a work to commemorate this, uh, this anniversary. The piece starts with uh, a section called Call to Duty, which starts like a, a, a military fanfare, you know, basically Call to Duty, but it quickly morphs into a very contemplative section where uh, the Koto introduces a traditional Japanese song. And then from that, Janice Mira Katani, co-founder of Glide Memorial Church, who was interned, her mother was interned, and uh, she wanted to share some testimony. Thomas Sakamoto was a trained linguist with the Military Intelligence Service. He served in combat for 25 months in the jungles of New Guinea and elsewhere. After combat ceased, he was assigned as a language officer with the Allied War Correspondents. The following are excerpts from a newsletter article Sergeant Sakamoto wrote about Japan's surrender and Hiroshima in September 1945. As the first Japanese American officer to set foot in Hiroshima is what I can only describe as hell. Lying in the Red Cross hospital were not combat soldiers, but defenseless women children and elderly Japanese. The flash burn effect of the bomb practically and completely peeled off skins and faces. The smell was overpowering and sanitation was pathetic. I was really shaken up to think that these defenseless people were subjected to the cruelty by one bomb. Even the press corps folks recoiled and retreated from the hospital. Even they had to silently if reflect on this cruel inhumanity to human beings. I believe there is a higher moral and that mankind should consider that nuclear bombs should be eliminated from the face of the earth. Next movement, the third movement, is called Battlefield and Go for Broke, and that's a Tycho feature. close with a traditional military piece called Last Post that I rearranged. had people incarcerated, yet they served their country faithfully. But the fact that their families were imprisoned while they were on the front lines, risking their lives, and actually sometimes, and in many instances, giving up their lives, sacrificing their lives to save this country, to defend this country and the ideals of this country, I felt the least I could do was to honor them through music.